Hey YouTube, if you want to learn how to make one of these... Then stay tuned. Now making your own admin in Roblox is pretty easy, it's just a few lines of code and I'll be providing them in the description below. Anyways, let's head on with the tutorial. Now open up Roblox Studio and let's insert a part. Now let's anchor it and put and make it a bit bigger. Let's insert a script. Now what you want to do is put in the names of the admins. So you can call it whatever you want. Let's just call it admins for the sake of this video. And let's put in the name of the user. Then we would want it to connect when a player adds is added. So we'll put game that players player added connect a function. And let's call the player's P. Now, once the player is added, let's make sure it's an admin. So to do that, we'll put four. Let's make an NA in pairs admins do. Afterwards, we would put in if the player, the player's name is equal to the admin list, then we would connect P chatted connect function and let's call the function message now afterwards we would be putting the if function for the command now it would be if the message is equal to open then now basically this is what makes it not case sensitive so whether you type it in capital or lowercase it wouldn't affect it much just make sure everything is lowercase in the parentheses now if the message is open then we would make sure the part would be easy you could go through the part now to do that can collide so script that parent that can collide is equal to false now we'll put an else if message lower is equal to close, then script that parent that can collide is equal to true. Now basically this is the whole script if you're not going to make it look good and you can test it out. Let's publish it and let's test it out. Now as you can see here, you, you can't go through it, but when you say open, you can close. And that's about it now the following part would be for the aesthetics and the looks basically that's the same thing but anyways so you can leave the video now if you know how to customize it or you could stick with me anyways so let's continue by making it red and let's make the transparency 0.2 and make it neon now basically this is really up to you on how you would want it to look like so this is just really up to you nice let's make that smaller and let's put in some surface gui some text label and let's name this let's call it let, let's put closed and let's make it bigger 800 by 600 Let's make it so it stands light and make it large. Let's make it color white and remove the background. Now let's just duplicate this and name it Surface GUI 2 and put it on the back. Now we have two Surface GUIs and time to script that. Now after that, let's make sure the color changes. So script that parent that brick color equals brick color that new, and let's make it bright green. Now take note that the colors are case sensitive, so be sure to research about that in the Roblox wiki. After that, let's make the surface GUI's text change text label the text is equal to open let's copy and paste that and let's make it surface GA2 copy and paste these two put it on the bottom and make it closed 
Now, a good technique in scripting is that you can copy and paste everything, not, not everything, but most things, to make it easier and faster. Anyways, after that, let's add in some sound effects. So, let's go to Toolbox and get free models. Or you can get your own if you want to. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just adding some from the toolbox. Anyways, let's make, get a beep sound. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's good. Let's name it beep. Put it inside the part so it comes from this part. And let's also add in a force field. I have one in my inventory. And put it in the part also. And let's just name it FF for force field. Now let's put these two to work. Now every time it opens, let's make it beep. So script that parent that beep. Play. Copy and paste that for faster scripting. And now let's add in a force field effect. So every time you touches, if every time you touch it, it lights up. Since it's a different function, let's put it down here. So if the if the parent of the script is touched, let's connect it and make it a function. Now since the transparency would change, let's base it on the surface GUI. So it would be an if statement. So if script that parent that surface GUI that text label that text is equal to closed. Sorry about that. Equals to closed. Then let's just put it in parentheses. It really doesn't matter, but I want to make it clean. Then script that parent that transparency is equal to point two. Hold on, we forgot about about that here. Let's make it script that parent that transparency point five for open and point two for closed. Same here. So since it's point two, hold on. Oh, sorry about that. Point five, and let's make. The sound so script that parent that ff play now let's make it with 1.1 and script that parent that transparency equals 0.2 now we'll make it opposite if it's closed so let's just put else and copy and paste this one and let's just make it opposite 0.2 and 0.5 And that's really about it. Let's publish it and test it out. Now here is our glowing door. Let's touch it. Yep, there's some sound and let's open it. Close it. And yeah. Now let's add in a little more decoration to make it look good. So let's put in another part. And let's make this neon. Let me put the grid here. Put it there. Let's put it all the way here. And duplicate that. Move it here. Duplicate that. Let's move that there. And duplicate that again and let's make a wall so let's duplicate this move it here then let's make it concrete let's make let's build a wall duplicate that and we forgot to change that real quick Let's change it real quick. Smooth, smooth. The surface. Smooth. And smooth. Let's duplicate it once more and put it above. Let's make it all the way here. 
and yeah let's publish it and here is the final result of what we made now as you can see it lights up when you touch it make some sound effects hold on let me put the volume up and when we open it and when you close it and as you can notice even though our capitalization is different it still works anyways that's it for this video if you, you if you like this video you know how the like button works and it would be great if you could subscribe also i'm making some music and it would be great if you could check it out see you in the next one